Hello my lovelies, I'm sorry but the light is fading and I really wanted to do this video in actual natural sunlight because I'm fed up of being jaundiced. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold this camera and um, hold up everything. So this is a video about skincare and a couple of people have requested. Now to be honest, I don't know that much about skincare, I just use what works for me. And um, yeah, so if you're interested, please check it out. I am 22, so I don't use any kind of anti-wrinkle creams or anything like that. Although they say you should start in your early 20s, I just feel like I don't want to start too early and then later get used to the ingredients and then they have absolutely no effect. So I've read. So sometimes I do use an eye cream. I just use a normal like L'Oreal cheap eye cream if my eyes are feeling a bit tight. Um, like if the weather's been windy, my eyes have been watering a lot, or if I've been upset and I've cried and my um, eye, like the area on my right, is all tight and horrible, I will use it now and then just to moisturise, but I won't use it every night. Um, you see Maxi, he's being so naughty. Sorry, my pile of washing on the floor. There. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Look at him. <sighs> so naughty. Um, anyways, so what I use on an everyday basis is use Johnson's 3-in-1 Facial Cleansing Wipes. And they are set to gently cleanse, tone, remove makeup, and even waterproof mascara. And they do. They're really good because they're large enough, and also they are quite watery, like there's a lot of liquid on them. So I can remove all my makeup, even if I'm wearing heavy makeup, in one wipe. And I found that other brands um, don't make theirs as kind of, I don't know how to say it, um, Queen of Blending described as juicy, um, but I knew exactly what she was talking about. Um, the MAC ones I don't like, I don't like the smell of them and I don't like the greasy finish that it leaves on your skin. Now I always tone after I cleanse my face, but still I just... I always think of them as a makeup remover rather than a cleanser and since I just remove my makeup and cleanse with this one towel, I don't particularly just want to use makeup remover all over my face while I put toner. Um, I also use a scrub, it's the St. Ives one. I don't know, sometimes I use the like the blemish biting one, sometimes a sensitive one, sometimes the original one. They are the best. They have little um, bits of apricot seeds, I believe. I've actually just run out of it, so I need to go buy a new one so I can't show it to you, but it's the best scrub I've ever tried. And um, I like it because you can really feel it working, you can feel it scrubbing. And I do get, I have a combination skin, so I do get areas of dryness like on my nose a lot. Um, so I like to feel that the scrub is working and doing its thing. Um, after I've cleansed, um, I tone using tea tree water from Lush. Now this is the best tone I've ever come across. It's so mild. It just smells like water with a little bit extra. And it feels the same way on your skin. It feels soft. It doesn't have that tingly feeling. It doesn't feel like your skin is tightening and you can't like open your mouth or anything. Maxi. <laughs> But it does feel fresh and you can feel it kind of cleansing your pores. And what I normally do is I just cleanse, use that um, tea tree water and um, then I brush my teeth and let it kind of air out my pores. I don't know what it's doing, but let it just kind of dry off and then I'll put my moisturiser on. And I have found that when I do get breakouts, if I don't have this, they are so much worse. And as soon as I start using this, it really clears them up. The same thing with my moisturiser. Now you're all going to laugh at me, but the moisturiser I use most often is Clean and Clear Daily Action Moisturiser. Now I must apologise because my camera's doing everything back to front. But yeah, this you can find at any drugstore, super drug, boots, anything. It's really cheap. And I know it's formulated for teenage skin, but to be honest, like, this is what works for me. When I get breakouts, I put it all over my face and then I massage um, an extra bit into the blemish and it just works so well. I don't like drying them out, I don't like putting special blemish creams on because I, my skin can be quite sensitive so, and it's very pale and thin. So drying agents just dry it out too much and it really doesn't help, it just dries the surface and then inside it's still a big mess. So for me, moisturising the blemish works much better and this really, really, really does do the trick for me. It's good. 
Um, then at certain times of the month when we have more blemishes and your skin gets a bit oily, I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, um, I use the Clarins Ultra Matte Rebalancing Lotion uh, for oily skin. This has loads of good stuff in it and um, I've only recently bought it, I can't really say how good it is, but I usually wear this in the day and then the um, Clean and Clear one at night because I find that this helps my skin stay a little bit more matte for longer when I'm wearing makeup during the day and just generally at night I don't really mind if my skin's a bit oily when I wake up whereas you know around 5 o'clock you get that oil slick look and it's not very nice and this just helps my skin stay matte and absorbs extra oils um, it is more like a gel it's a green it's in between a gel and a cream really and you don't feel like it's really moisturising but it does give that extra something to your skin and because I use such a mild toner I can get away with using something that's not terribly moisturising um, during the day if you use a toner with alcohol in, then you really need to put the moisture back into your skin so I do like that um, I don't like the smell though. It smells a bit kind of herby or planty. I don't really know. It smell. It does have herbal extracts in it, so I suppose it smells like well the way the herb would smell, whatever is in it. I don't really remember. <laughs> but I do, I prefer clean smells, and I just I'm not a fan of putting that all over my face. But it seems to do the trick. And then another moisturizer I sometimes use is Lancome's Hydrazen. And um, this is a soothing anti-stress moisturising cream fluid. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for oily skin. I do use this on my skin. It's particularly dry. It's not formulated for um, dry skin. It's not meant to be terribly oily and moisturising. But because it is an anti-stress moisturiser, it's kind of like a little rescue remedy. So if I've been out in the sun or it's been really windy and cold and my skin is feeling really dry and tight, I would use that mainly at night because during the day I feel like it leaves a little bit of an oily residue on the skin. It's not absorbed straight away the way the Clean and Clear one is. That just melts into the skin and the same with the Clarins one. So yes, yeah, that's about it. Um, hope you guys are having a really good weekend. I'm sorry for my hat, but my hair is gross and I've got a horrible cold. But apart from that, yes. Um, just want to say thank you guys. I'm getting so many new subscribers every day and I'm so flattered because obviously I'm not a professional. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just like play with makeup. And I thought I would share it with you. So thank you all for your lovely, lovely comments. And you really make my day with all your messages. And I'm sorry, I'm so behind on requests recently. Ugh, it's just a nightmare keeping up with them all. And um, I will try my best. Okay, um, have a good weekend, everyone. And um, yeah, that my love you. I have to think of what to say goodbye and it's not so cheesy. Bye.